Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. And last episode, we uh I, I remember this time. So we tried to do the tunium and I've got some here. And yeah, that killed our power. So I kind of sorted out the power situation a little bit. I got some hydrogen uh, fuel chambers down there, but it's still not enough. I just think in general that the thermal power plants would just not work. So I need to replace it and I need to start producing uh, these bad boys over here. So I need to get production of these ready and I need to start producing some of these. In order to do that, I need the titanium alloys and the processors. Now, these super magnets, I did this off camera. So if we go somewhere down here, you will see that I have made a little, little production. Well, not little, a decent, oh, where are you? Where are you? Over there. So I made a decent production. It gives me about 160 super magnets per minute. Now, I believe, is it over here? I've lost it. It's over here. Yes, it is. Yes, it gives me about 160 super magnets per minute. And that's pretty good because on my last base, I was making 80 per minute. So this is double. And with that 80 per minute, I was doing absolutely fine. I had too many super magnets, to be honest with you. So I think 160 would be good because with my last base, I didn't go further into the tech tree where I have to use them for things like, uh, what would I have to use them in the future? Maybe these at some point? Yeah, I will have to use more of them, I know that. So I know I would need I would need it more than 80 per minute. So I made 160 per minute. I've also overflowed the other two turbines into here. So we can use them if we need it. And then I have this going into here if needed. This is all connected with logistic stations. Um, quite a few logistic stations actually and yeah that's its nice little uh, area there so that gets that one out of the way we got the trulium not that we're making a lot of it but we've got it so we can sort that out a little bit so I do need to sort of set something up before it runs out I need to start getting it done before it runs out the main thing is titanium alloys and the processors so what I'm looking to do today is make a production of quantum chips but I'm not going to make quantum chips because I just don't have the resources but I'm going to sell it up so that it's going to make the processors then the quantum chips the processors are going to overflow because we're not going to be making quantum chips and then we can use that as and when we need also going to make titanium alloys which is pretty straightforward it's sulfuric acid titanium ingots and steel now I've put up more orbital or interplanetary uh, stations so I'm getting everything I need from the other planets pretty much we're not making this yet and we're not making that yet pretty much everything is done it's like a little shopping mall over here and we're gonna use that product to our advantage and make this thing so first let's make the sulfuric acid so we need not sulfuric acid tal uh, titanium alloys now I don't think I'm bringing in titanium, I am bringing in titanium but I'm bringing that locally for some reason I'm not bringing that um, remotely I'm supplying it remotely which I don't think I need to do um, I'll keep that like it is for now but that may change so all we need basically, and I'm going to build it down here with uh, the other things that I was building because it's got quite a bit of space down here and we've got some space in our logistic stations. So all, I'm, all I need for this is one logistic station I would say and then the rest just goes back in here. So what is it I need? Smelters. Now let's bring up the sheet here and see how many we can make if we want to make I would say 720 because we don't use that many of them we need a fair bit 
but it's doable. Okay, so we need 720 still 720 iron, uh, titanium ingots, because that's a uh, one for one basically. And we need 1,440 sulfuric acid, which is fine with me. And then we'll need 36 smelters. So we'll do 15, 15, and six. No, no, that's not a good ratio. Um, maybe six, six, six. Six times six is 36, right? I believe, if my maths is doing me justice. Anyways, let's get this down. Let's get one of these down here. Now my power here as well is also not holding up that great. So I've got to be very careful. Um, I really need to get power sorted and that's what we're doing today. We're going to get to a point where we can start getting uh, miniature fusion reactors done. Uh, titanium ingots? Perfect. Demand, demand and demand. Now I'm going to put... Oh, but I only got 24 of these. I thought I had a few more than that. Hmm. That's not good. I'm going to have to build some more of them. Alright, let's get you down there. Now, the reason why I am putting... Um, not you. The reason why I'm putting robots in this one, even though it's getting stuff, it's only getting stuff that have robots in it already. So, these two are from an orbital station that doesn't have robots in it. So, or drones in it. So, it's not going to get it. So, it's better just to put it in here so it can pick up the stuff that it needs. I would like to get 50 in here, but... That would happen soon enough. Okay, so if we're gonna do 666, wow, or 6666, 666, we are gonna do something like this one, two, three, or I can just do 12, you know? That works as well. That's six, nine, 10, 11, 12, and look at that just in line so I can put the titanium alloys in there I think that's perfect let me just double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve right I can't count anymore one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve ah there you go even better all right so I'm just gonna quickly put them all down and uh, yeah, then we're pretty much done with the titanium alloys. They're pretty simple to make. They just take resources that are quite hefty. Um, yeah, we can do that. See, my power's going low. So I've got to be really careful. But once I get um, titanium alloys done, I believe I've got everything I need to make uh, the deuterium fuel rods. I may need, so I need titanium, titanium alloys and magnets. So yeah, I think that's it. Then we can make a little production of that. Okay, so how is this gonna work? We're gonna put in there and it's gonna go in there. That's nice and easy. Output is gonna be here. Here. And here. Now, since this will only be making 720, um, what is that? That's just over what this belt can hold. But that's not, I'm not too fussed about that. If anything, it would be better to split it up so it can go in there without any issue. But I don't mind a bit of backlog here. I got a feeling this is gonna pretty much overflow anyway. Because again, in my last base, I didn't use it often. Um, <sighs> I just thought of something. <laughs> oh, I did this wrong. I did this wrong. This has three inputs. These three. Makes sense, right? Okay. Give me a, a little second and I'm going to just quickly adjust that. Okay, so I changed it just a little bit as you can see, <laughs> but everything went wrong that could go wrong. Oh man, I built too many 
I ran out of parts. I, uh, everything went wrong. But it is done. Finally, there's 30, oh, and save like there. There's 36 smelters here to produce 720 titanium alloys per minute, which is, I think is a decent amount. So if we take a look at this, it's just the uh, sulfuric acid that needs to go in the, in the beginning, doesn't it? The first belt. Yes, because we need eight. So let's put the sulfuric acid in first. Oh, wrong one. You know what? Leave it. It's fine. You can, you can do what you want to do. There, that, and that, and that, and that. And there you have it. A nice little production of titanium alloys. Now, why? Okay, they are coming out. Wondering why they're not coming out then. Oh, and I put this in the wrong one, didn't I? Of course I did. Of course I did. But with my sorters, as you can see, it doesn't really matter. It's not keeping up with it anyway. So it's fine. But if you don't upgrade your sorters and you want a load balance, you would put the sulfuric acid on this side and preferably put one of these belts here and one of that and one belt here. So make them both in the second place and put the outside in the first place here. That will make sure that you're hitting the right right amounts with the same loaders, with the same sorters. But yeah, so there we go. Let's see what that is saying now. No, that's not great at all. That's 10 minutes. There you go. That's gonna go up to 700 easily. Um, I'm happy with that. So that's the first bit done. Now, we need to get this sorted. Now it shouldn't be too bad because we're already producing this. This is not terrible to make. In fact, is there a cop around here? I might. Mm, am I using much copper? Because I I think I am using copper down here. Now I don't want to be using too much of it. No, you know what? It should be fine. Should be fine. If I do need to up, up the copper production, I've got loads of copper in this planet. I can always add more. So let's get another logistics station done. All right, we'll put you about here should be good. Now, if we go on to my little sheet here and we look at processes. Now, I'm looking to make, again, 180 of these. So, well, of, I say of these, you don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking to make 180 of the quantum chips. So that takes quite a lot of things. But for now, we're just gonna build up to the processes, which are gonna be 18 assemblers. But we need to uh, divide that by 1.5, which let's take a look at the calculator. They should have an in-game calculator like um, Satisfactory. That would be good. So 18 divided by 1.5 equals 12. So that's gonna only take 12 assemblers, which is fine by me, to be honest. And to make these, what do I need? Assemblers as well. So I'm gonna need 24 of them. And if I use the Mark III assemblers, so 24 divided by 1.5 equals 16. So 16 and 12. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So we need, we're gonna to need to make these. So it's silicon and copper. We need copper, we need silicon and we need circuit boards demand 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 now i do need bots that is one thing i do need um i have okay i can make some i just need to go to the other planet and get some thrusters i think i got some thrusters down there that's fine then all right so let's let's put this out first and then we can go back to the other place and sort that out 
So 16 and the inputs are two, right? Because I don't want to mess that up again. Okay, two inputs. Happy days. I like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two inputs here. Let's put the belts down first so we know what we're doing. Again, down here. And then another eight. Get that in line, perfect. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we're gonna have an output down here. And an output down here. Which is then gonna go on to making more things. So, do I wanna make it on the side, going this way, or long ways? I think on the side, like I did with this one, I think that's a decent way of doing it. Um, so I'm gonna put, I don't ever need these, so I don't need to overflow it. Let's take a look. What are they? Yeah, they only produce processes. So I won't ever need to overflow it. So I'm thinking just to make it go straight up here. That's, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So if we just take this out, we can put it going straight like this. And we can then have circuit boards come down here. Then we need 12 of these. One, two, ooh, ooh, hmm. Maybe that won't work. Yeah, if I could do a one line, I could, no, it's just gonna look ugly. Let's change that, let's change that about. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what I did before, and I'm, oh, come on. You can do it, there we go. And I am gonna make it come round, go like that. And then let's get a, let's get the processes, uh, the things in here. Now I want to make sure I've got space for it to have its output. So we want 12, so there should be space. That's four, five, and no, one, two, three, that's six, perfect. So yeah, we can uh, have it come down here and then go over. So then we got circuit board in here, or actually we'll put this first, and then the circuit board's there. That will come like so. In there. Then we get another six, two, three, four, five and six, we will have most probably a logistics station somewhere. But I've got to remember that we need another 12 for the quantum processes. So how do I want it to be? How do I want it to be? Most probably have a overflow Here. Nope, that won't work. So we're gonna have this most likely come like this. And then back down. That's gonna come here. Oh, it can't. Mm. And that would be a bit more steeper. Yeah, it can. There you go. That should be fine. Yep. So then that's gonna go into the quantum chip processing. We're gonna have an overflow here. Perfect. 
that's what I like to see. Bring that in there. That will go into a logistic station. And how many products do I need for the quantum? Two products with 12. So let's put the output of the quantum is going to be pretty much here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a bit higher. Don't know if I like that. Try and move that down by one. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. You know, it's got it's got to be it's got to make sense sometimes. All right, let's get that in there. Quickly, just do that. There we go. I am liking this. This is looking spicy. All right. So then we will have that going in there. We'll have a logistic station here. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. That can go there. That can go there. We'll overflow, so it will only go through if that bit is blocked. Then we will have this coming out here. That will supply us with um, the glass that we need to make to make the quantum chips. I think it's the titanium glass or whatever it's called. And then, hmm, how am I going to get that in there? I, I do have a way. I do have a way. I have an idea. Um, but first, I want to put this down because this can be quite hard. The idea I'm doing can be quite annoying to get uh, sorters in there once you've completed the idea. So uh, let's get these sorters in and I'll show you what I'm gonna do to get it over there. All right, now the sorters are there. What I'm gonna do, so it comes up here, the output, which I am more than happy with. We're gonna go out to here, there. We are gonna go out, no. yep, to there. Then we're gonna get this bit and we're gonna raise it. And we're gonna pull it like that. That looks good to me. Then we're gonna lower it. Look at that, perfect. So it will come in, go over, back in there. Nice and simple, lovely jubbly. All right, so what do we need in here? We're gonna have them, we're gonna have the quantum chips, and we're gonna need the glass coming out. So the glass would be this one here, and that would be demand, but I'm not producing that yet. So that's gonna be a bit of time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the boring bit and put all the sorters down, <laughs> set up the power, and see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, and it is night time. We are back. We, uh, I've managed to sort out all the sorters. It's the most tedious thing in the world, but it has to be done. I can't see any way that the developers can automate that sort of process. Um, and a copy and paste would be a bit difficult with this grid, given the grid that we use. But yeah, all done. I've also added these two little things because sometimes I like to make things by hand. And it's just good to have a few in there. Um, for now, I may just put like one line. I don't need too many because most of the processes will be done automatically. But yeah, and all I need to do now is add the box of drones. And I made 50 of them or 52. They're gonna go and get the stuff that we need. And hopefully, this will be a success and all done. 
And I remember one of the other episodes, I realized that um, you can actually see the directions. I said we couldn't see anything. That is because I had something off and it wasn't working. Or maybe because there was no power in it. But once you got power, you can actually see the direction it's going. So you can check how things are working, especially when you do big, massive projects with loads and loads of sorters. So the first few should be coming in pretty soon and we should be making a production. So it's gonna take a bit of time to set up. While that's doing that thing, I want to talk about what we're gonna be doing next. So we're gonna have power sorted. Now that we've got that sorted, we can make this. And I'm gonna make a little production off screen and then start replacing all the power, all the power on the planet with mini fusion power stations. And then I'm going to supply each planet with 2,000 of them. I'm going to do the chemical planet first because that is going to supply us with plutonium. So that is a key component that we need and we need to make sure that's getting harvest as soon as possible. And then, so the next episode, that should all be done for the next episode. And then we'll jump back onto the chemical planet and just finish up the rest. We need to get these automated, which means we need to make these and then that. And maybe a bit of plastic. Um, I will need actually the plastic because I need to make these. Once that's done, these two are done, then that planet is pretty much over. Then it's literally just coming on this planet and producing all the things I can produce. And then working our way up to making a artificial star. And this. Now, I can pretty much delete everything in my old place now. And I'm most probably going to do that and make that just used for Dyson spheres, which reminds me, we need to start automating this as well. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of detunium. So yeah, we need to get this uh, detunium production done. And look at this, this is what I like to see. It's not going in there because it's going straight in here, but look at that, already 200. Nice and easy. And let's see what kind of production we're looking at right now. Hmm. 360 this is 720 so this is going to be 360 and that should mean the other one is going to be 180 which is perfectly fine I'm happy with that we're not going to use it as fast I don't believe as we produce it and this is obviously already maxed out this is a perfect production right there so guys thank you very much for joining me on this episode and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.